Meanwhile, there's a bit of confusion over the coronavirus testing. Right now, the state has enough tests, but not enough people want one, and that could actually set us back from that phase two target date on June 20th. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell has more. Early on, we were we were restricted. We were running after swabs. We were looking for the reagents. Governor Lamont says that's not the case anymore. Connecticut has tests. Doing 100,000 a week is supposed to be what it takes to lift the lockdown on the second phase on June 20th. However, in the last week, we've done less than half of that. It's actually a bad problem to have. And I think, unfortunately, the initial messaging that went out to the public when we didn't have enough testing capacity to not get a test unless you were symptomatic, I think is really stuck. Even now, Dr. Summer McGee, the Dean of Health Sciences at the University of New Haven, admits it's tough to sort through the confusion. For example, logging onto the CVS site, it still asks people to fill out a questionnaire. I think it is an understandable confusion for the public about when can I, when should I go get a test. The state wants to make it very clear. The time is now, even if you don't have symptoms. If you've been out in the community, if you are working, particularly in high contact jobs, you should be getting a test frequently, regardless of whether you have symptoms. And Trinity Health and Charter Oak teamed up to make it as easy as possible by rolling out mobile testing sites. Three times a week, they hit a different spot in the Hartford area. No appointments, no insurance requirements, no questionnaires. Just show up between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. and it'll be done. We're going to bring the testing to you. The governor visited this location on Main Street in Hartford today to explain the importance of getting tested. That you know you're okay, but each and every one of the people around you, it's a sense of respect. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.